Yes, when we diagnose hepatitis C, we, we, we diagnose that they have a hepatitis C infection. We had to evaluate activity and state of the liver disease. Uh, what we do next includes uh, look at the liver function test from that test, and that can tell us in the term of chronic hepatitis, how good or bad of the hepatic function, even if not can can give you really in specific detail, but we can see some. And then we also look at the ultrasounds in order to look at the state of liver disease, if the patient, whether the patient had cellulosis. We also have now clearly look at the non-invasive method in order to make sure the state, when I say state, that means we look at the fibrosis of the liver. We have some non-invasive uh, method, such as uh, tangent elastography or fibro scan, and that can measure and highly predict the degree of fibrosis in the liver. And lastly, we also had to determine the complication of chronic liver disease, particularly hepatocellular carcinoma or liver cancer, and that can be screened by ultrasound as well. So when you put all these patients, you can determine patient have hepatitis C, what the genotype is, and what the activity and state of liver disease. And that we need this all information before considering specific therapy. One hepatitis C, particularly in this region of the world, we had to make sure that the patient doesn't have another co-infection because all these viruses sometimes it transmitted via blood uh, or body secretion of the patients, such as hepatitis B or even SIV. Because particularly patients who acquire SAV uh, through intravenous drug injection, they can have really common to have hepatitis C and SAV co-infection. Co-infection, it can make disease progress more aggressively and it might <coughs> affect the treatment response. Until I think we, in the last five years, we discover new drug that the anti hepatitis C, we call DAA, direct acting antiviral agents. This one can inhibit at different state of the life cycle of hepatitis C replication. And now another many direct acting viral agents pile up and we even have more successful and cover all variety and state of liver disease. And seem to be treatment duration will be even they try to be shorter.